<laughs> first of all, it's certainly true to say that in, in Einstein's theory, we've got four-dimensional space, then, then you're prevented from travelling back in time. Actually, by the speed of light, it fits into the geometry in that way. Um, you, you're right, though, you can imagine t wormholes and these ideas that you can tunnel through and take shortcuts. It'd be like going from London to Australia by going through the Earth rather than around the two-dimensional surface on the edge. So you, so but. But uh, I've heard uh, Stephen Hawking has a, a thing called the chronology protection conjecture, which is, and the conjecture is from a physics perspective is that as you say, it seems to make no sense. It's not a way to build a universe to allow you to be able to travel back in time and and prevent your parents from meeting before you're born or whatever you do. So, so there's a conjecture that the laws of nature um, will always be such that time travel into the past is forbidden. Now that's a conjecture at the moment. It's certainly it's true in what's called Einstein's special theory of relativity and it might be true or not in his general theory. We're not sure because you have these shortcut things. But most, I, I think most theoretical physicists would say we think, we'll conjecture as Stephen Hawking does that the physics protects the past. Can I, can I just say then that logic suggests that even if you can travel into the future, we'll never know. Or you can travel into the future, yes, but even in Einstein's theory, as far as you want. Yes, but, but you can... no one will actually do it because it would require a great scientific effort and a lot of money, but no one would ever be able to prove we, we do it. that they'd been in the future. It's been proved. So, so moving yeah. clocks run Has slow. Has it been proved? Yes, moving clocks run slow relative to stationary ones. So, so if you were to run across this uh, studio now and run back and sit down, and we measured the time on your watch very accurately, it would, you, your, your watch relative to mine would have run slower. And that's, that's, that's actually central to the way the satellite navigation system works. It requires to be... So, so that's true, and that's, a, that's part of Einstein's theory.